Our starting point was from the northern part of Holland in a place called Woodsend, and our finishing point was down in a place called Vinkaveen. We started in Woodsend where we met our boat. It was a 42-foot cruiser with four cabins inside, each cabin having a toilet and a shower. We used the fourth one for storing luggage. There was a large gallery where we could do all of our cooking and of course you can see we had bicycles up front. We headed out when you go down the canals you can stop pretty much anywhere you wish and we pulled off a number of times and just put a stake in the ground, took the bicycles off and went into town. Back on the canals again we saw some amazing scenery. Of course lots of people are using the canals to transport instead of cars and it was very calm going down the canal. We saw lots of farms along the side, beautiful houses that came up against the canal. Along the way we saw lots of stork nests. Here's one that's feeding their babies. Along the way of course we came across a number of locks and here's one where the lock keeper is lowering down a wooden shoe on a uh, fishing rod for us to put our two euros in in order to get through the locks. All of the locks that we came across were uh, all manned so we didn't have to do anything physical. We pulled across uh, to have a nice leisurely lunch after we had gone through several of the locks and uh, we pulled along the side of the road. There was a park right nearby where we took a little walk and then uh, came back to the boat and decided that uh, we would go down into the galley and have lunch, have a game of cards where you could also sit down and read or do whatever it, you would like to do in order to enjoy and relax that part of the journey. It was down here in the galley also where each evening we kind of planned out our next stops along the canal uh, when we took off uh, for the next day's journey. After a leisurely lunch, it was back onto the boat and away we went down the canals until we came to a village that we wanted to maybe spend some time in. So we tied up, took the bikes down and rode into the village to see what there was to see. The scenery was really quite amazing and it was nice having the opportunity uh, to get off the boat and go in and see some of the small villages that line the canals as you go along and to do a little shopping and just enjoying yourself, taking the time away from the water and uh, seeing what you might see in these beautiful villages uh, in Holland, even taking time to have a nice cup of coffee along the side of the road. Then it was time to get back onto the canals and away we went coming along another one of the locks that we passed through, a total of about 80 of them during our journey. We saw lots of boats, of course, going either way. Met a few from La Boat even, in fact. Even had a visit from a dog along the side there, welcoming us to the area. And of course the lovely thatched houses, some more stork nests along the way, and of course the traditional um, windmills that we saw just about every so many kilometers. Coming up here again to another lock, getting through. Uh, the lock lifts and away we go and we're coming through again and seeing more of those traditional windmills. The scenery along the side of the road as we went along was absolutely stunning. The weather was perfect and we got some great pictures as we went along. Some of the lock areas were quite narrow, as you can see, but we pulled in to a small pub in one of the villages. We sat and had a coffee on the boat before uh, going in to enjoy a nice meal in the pub. And then, of course, we wandered around the village and had a little bit of a look before we left. And then it was time to go again. In one of the villages we met a family at an ice cream shop uh, 
one evening and they invited us to uh, stop by their home on our journey the next morning. So when we packed up that morning, we were heading down the canal and the young fellow in the foreground of the picture there was out on his dock waving at us and we pulled over and docked at their house and the mom had some lovely hot scones and coffee for us as we visited before we headed back out onto our, uh, our trip down the canals towards Vinkaveen. On the last day of our trip, as we were heading towards our final destination, uh, we encountered uh, some wider areas of waterway and as well as some narrow ones, but still a few locks to go through. However, as we approached our final destination, we had to go underneath a bridge and you'll be able to see we were quite concerned about getting under it. It was only a 3.7 meter clearance and we ended up having to take the bicycles off the top and lay them down flat and uh, instead of sitting in the seat, I had to actually get down below the level of the steering wheel in order to get under. We just barely squeaked through. And we could have, uh, you know, it was less than probably six or seven inches between the top of the boat and the bottom of the bridge. But we managed to get through and we uh, pulled into the harbor and docked at the final location and uh, we had a very successful trip. It was most enjoyable and I would highly recommend it to anybody who would like to see a leisurely trip down the canals of Holland.